What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another episode of Scooter Hunt News and we have a couple of new topics to talk about this week. Kicking things off, on Wednesday, Addict announced they have welcomed a new rider to the team in the form of Andres Botokivian, or however you pronounce his name. This is actually the first I've heard of this dude and after the second Instagram clip I watched, I can tell what is so appealing about this guy. He has a very fast paced yet technical style of riding. Somewhat reminds me of Reese Jones because of how fluid and just loose he is on his scooter. Anyway, I'm going to chuck up a few Insta clips for y'all to watch now so you can see what this dude is all about. See what I mean? So stylish. Attic first burst onto the scene nine years ago with their decks, bars, and their forks. All that were known for how incredibly light they were for that point in time. Apart from the sword, dagger, and nester forks, the complete deck and bar range were all signature products of then current team, consisting of the likes of Johan Moreau, JD, Matt McKean, Maxime Legrand, Michael Chajas, and Alex Peasley. In fact, all those years ago, I had one of Johan Moreau's signature decks myself. Absolutely love this thing. Rode this for, I would say, probably two years, and it never even cracked. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite decks of all time. If this still had, like, square dropouts or something, I reckon this would be a super popular deck. Definitely a wider base on the bottom too, but definitely an awesome deck. Since the release of these products all that time ago, the team has changed quite drastically, especially over the last year or so, with the addition of the likes of Lucas DiMagello, Brandon James, Brad Ackerman, and Leon Lindgren. To keep the new breed rolling, Addict have also since released a new range of parts, including forks, clamps, headsets, wheels, and hand grips. Also not to mention a signature deck for Tobias Mayer, who has been with the team since 2013, and that should hopefully be dropping soon. And as you can see here, we even got a glimpse at what seems to be a line of new Attic Completes thanks to this photo from ISPO earlier this year. Excited to see what the future holds for Attic, especially since they are starting to build such a reputable team of dudes around them. Also, literally as I was starting to film this video, I quickly checked the Attic Instagram once again just to make sure all my facts were correct and have taken notice that Attic have actually added two more riders to the team in the form of Keaton Saunders and also... Daniel Ray. I'll chuck both their Instagrams up here now. I'm um, not too sure about these guys. Haven't heard much about them. I'm sure they're absolute shredders. I'm going to look into them once I've finished making this video and see what these dudes are all about. But make sure you go check out their Instagram accounts and give these guys some love because they are two more riders to be added to the Addict team. Now this video actually dropped a little over a week ago now, but we didn't have the chance to review it on last week's episode. So we're going to do it now. Dan Barrett has just released a throwaway montage on the Phoenix Scooters YouTube channel while stacking clips for an upcoming Phoenix full length video. This video has everything you would expect from Dan, including some crazy nose manuals, beautiful frontside 360s with a touch of a heel whip, and sitting in a fakey like he is walking a dog. You have to remember though, all of these clips are throwaway, meaning he has most likely either one up these clips or they are just warm ups. This is the first I've heard of a full length being in the works for Phoenix, which excites me a bunch as their team is full of heavy hitters who will stop at nothing to make sure your jaws hit the floor and stays there for the entirety of the video. Cannot wait to see the final product. Also just missing the cut of last week's episode, but it is way too rad not to feature in this week, is the release of Elliot Arnold's signature bar promo. In my opinion, Elliot has one of the raddest styles all round. He just makes everything he does look so damn easy. This video is full of crazy gaps and even one he decided it was a good idea to bar spin, but no one else in their right mind would even think of jumping down the thing. Some insane technical wizardry on his pegs and just constant banger after banger clips. And that ender was just pfft, mind blowing. Few people have tricked this gap and Elliot decides it's a good idea to ride into the damn thing fakey. Anyway, if you want to see that one for yourself, you're going to have to check out the video. The link will be in the description below. 
858 have changed the handlebar game, being innovators and not copycats. The Ride 858 aluminium bars are some of the best aluminium bars on the market with its one-of-a-kind patented internal design, meaning it's the only bar in the world with the additional strength built straight into the tubing itself. Now, the internal reinforcement. It is insane. It has multiple functions. It is not just additional strength to the bar. The internal reinforcement in the top tube helps to do bar spin tricks. It does add a slight bit of weight in the high impact zones, giving the bar a balanced rotation, making bar spins effortless. Unlike the other alloy bars that struggle to rotate with bad balance and distribution of its weight. The A58 bars actually have a cool safety feature not many people know about. These alloy bars can bend. You may be thinking, that's not good. My steel and alloy bars bend all the time. Well, what A58 bars do is give you a decent safety feature. When you land hard on these alloy bars, instead of snapping straight out of your hand, it will at least bend and stay intact. That is, of course, if you can even bend them in the first place. Just before we wrap up this review on the 858 bars, what I'm gonna do is throw you downstairs to Lockie. He has some 858 bars in hand and he's going to chop them in half. We are going to chop in half a perfectly good pair of 858 bars just to show you guys where these reinforcements are and why these bars are so strong. All right, let's send you down to Lockie. All right guys, it's Lockie down here. We're at the Melbourne store and pretty much today we're gonna to be cutting these bars through uh, so we can show you what these bars are made of and why they're so strong. Let's do it. As you can see in here guys, with the 858 bar, you do have a little reinforcement that actually goes through the whole bar, protecting the bar from bending down further than it should with most bars. So yeah, as you can tell, strong, strong, nice thick gusset here. And then again, that reinforcement coming through the middle, going all the way through, really gives it that strength. As you can see from that video, there is tons of reinforcement in these bars, but they are still so super light. So make sure you check out Ride 858 and their titanium bars, their aluminium bars, every single bar they have, check them out. All right guys, that is pretty much the end of the show this week, but before we call things quits, remember we have the hashtag Scooter Hut Clip of the Week going down, and this week's winner is Ben Porter. Let's roll it. If I'm too blunt, me no means to offend you But there is no discussion of it, I am cooler than you They fly me out for shows, then I do what I'm sent to Rapping for a thousand babes, packed inside a venue I've been killing it for ages, always checking ages If she ain't trying to fuck the first night, we're on different pages We pregame, then we party, then the after party rages After that is when the purple smoke billows up in hazes I've been going hammy ham, chilling with a slammy slam She could take a picture, just don't put that shit on Instagram, but one night stands, I am a fan. All I do is wham and bam. Think I'm not the dopest, got me mixed up like an anagram. Drinking, smoking, now I got the spins like a merry go. That was a dope clip coming out of Ben and his mates on their Sunday roll. But anyway, guys, that is yet another episode of Scooter Hunt News completed. And we can't wait to see you next week where we'll be back again with more news, more stuff more scooters, everything you need, right here, right now. Make sure you subscribe, like, all that stuff. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm going to go. Catch you guys later. Peace.